Hi, this is Crystal Hart from the Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement, and here are some Google Classroom end of the year tips. Tip number one, take some time to reflect on the year. How did you use the digital tools that were available to substitute what used to be done with paper and pencil? Also think about what collaborative features of G Suite helped you engage and connect with your students in distance learning. It's helpful to write these things down in a Google Doc or a notebook so that when you come back to school in the fall, you are prepared and you know what works well and what you want to try to do again next year. Tip number two, clean up Google Classroom folders in your drive. Do not delete your Google Classroom folders. You have unlimited storage, so you can keep all of those folders with all of the files, but it is helpful to organize them. You'll want to create a master folder for exemplar work to use next year with your students, for example, and also create a 2019-2020 classes folder and move all of your old classroom folders into that one folder so that your drive is clean for next year. What you'll need to do is open your classroom folder in Google Drive. You'll then click New and click on Folder. You want to name the folder and click Create. And then you can drag and drop all of your old classrooms into this folder. I like to right click on the folder and color it so that it draws my attention to the eye. Last year's old classes are red for me because I won't need to visit those very often next year. Then when you're ready to create your exemplar folder, again click New and click on Create and name your folder. You can also color that folder because you will be visiting that folder next year. All right, tip number three, let's clean up the Google Classroom calendars. Google Classroom creates a calendar for each of your classes and it automatically adds the due dates for your students, which is great. When you go to Google Calendar, you're now going to have a list of all of your Google Classrooms that could possibly clutter up your calendar list since you don't teach those classes anymore. So let's go ahead and go through and delete the old calendars that we do not need. You'll want to open Google Calendar and click on Settings. Choose the calendar you want to delete and scroll to the very bottom of the settings. So here we chose a distance learning calendar. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, click delete, and then that calendar will be permanently deleted from your calendar list. Tip number four, let's set up a Google Classroom template for next year. You have a few options. You can copy your class that you currently use this year, or you can create a brand new class. Either way, while this year is fresh in your head and you kind of know what worked and did not work, it's great to kind of get a head start for next year. So you may want to consider making a template that you can reuse year after year if you have something that works well for you. So what you'll want to do is open your classroom home and click on the three dots at the top right of your classroom. You then have the option to copy your entire class. You want to name the class for next year and then click copy again and you'll see that it creates a new class for you that you can use next year and everything will be in draft and you can pull it out when you're ready to use it. And the last tip, now that we're done with this school year, is let's archive the classes that we've used this year, but we will not need for next year. So when you're done, you can archive it, which means it's placed in a separate area and it preserves the class and the materials, the student work and the post, but you won't see this class as an active class on your classes page. So what you want to do is open the home of Google Classroom and again, click on the three dots on the right hand corner of your classroom, click archive and then click archive once more. So that class will still be available for you to reuse post from if you want to next year, but it won't clutter up your classroom home. Hopefully you found these tips helpful and you are ready to start enjoying your summer now.